are my queens. Can you please make your way to my video and watch how we get this look and don't you dare forget your tiara. You might slip and slide sometimes but we always fix it back up and we bounce back from every situation. So let's go. <laughs> hey fam, welcome back. It's your girl Jess. Today's video is gonna be how I got this makeup look for Valentine's Day. I thought it would be so cute to do a Valentine's Day post. I haven't done much, but I did this on Gerard Cosmetics and a lot of people were asking me if I could film it. So I thought, why the hell not? So let's get to the video. If you like Valentine's Day, if you're single, taken, you just want to glam yourself up because why the hell not? You should spoil yourself for yourself. Hello, you're a prize. Then make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's go to the video. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but it just works. Before we do anything, let's put our cream on. So I'm going in with the Vital Skin Collagen Boost. Boost. I can't speak English. I'm going with the Vital Botanica range. This is the Collagen Burst Eye Treatment. So I'm going to use this before I put anything on. Like I said, I like to penetrate the skin. So I like to really hydrate it. So then by the time I finish my eyes, everything that we've put on our face is working. So like I said, I use my ring finger. If you haven't seen my under eye video, I will link it at the top. Then I'm going with this Vanity Glass Skin Cream. Now I'm really excited to be using this. Um, anything glass skin is my jam. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be doing. And obviously I'm using my face. My face, oh wow Jess, I'm using my hands. Now with cream, if you know me, I like to go crazy. We wanna make sure that we have a barrier on top of our skin before we put anything on. Oh. You know what this smells like? You know when you go get a facial, if you've gotten a facial, leave me a comment in the description bar, box, bar, blah. I actually recently got a facial, when was it? Last week. And it literally just smells like this. I know it's weird, but it really just, it has like a, like a facially smell. So. I like to kind of give myself a little massage. I look crazy, but that's what I do. Alrighty. <laughs> so usually I do go in with an eye primer, but I am actually loving the Instant Age Rewind. Um, this is from Maybelline, I believe, in medium. I'm just going to be kind of just packing that on my eyelids. Now for eyeshadow, I know this is a bit weird. Actually, it's not weird. Makeup is everything. So I'm using this Illa Mascua Powder Blush in Excite. That's the color name. Broken. A lot of my makeup is broken. Quite annoying. I literally want them to make a brand that when it drops, it doesn't break. Just putting that out there. So over. I think like my Natasha Denona palette dropped the other day and it just shattered. And I was like, oh. You know when your heart just kind of is just like, I can't take this. Just take a minute. <laughs> that was me. Just taking this kind of like densey flat, fluffy brush. And I'm just packing that on the back of that. Tap off the little excess. And I'm just literally putting that right under my crease. And on top. I'm starting by patting motions. You can be really messy with this. It's like a messy, sexy look, if that makes sense. I'm not taking it past where my where the bottom of my lash is. I'm just kind of taking it like that. So then I use just the back of my hand and I wipe that off. Same brush. And I'm just like literally holding the brush at the bottom and I'm blending that through and through. And then what I like to do just for this look, I'm actually bringing it down. I don't want the whole lid to be like the pinky color. So I'll just add a little bit more and I'll just kind of like dab that in the middle just to kind of make it look like a gradient. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Let's do the same to the other eye. If you've watched my eyeliner video, you will know how to get your eyeliner perfect every single time. So I am going to kind of skim through this. Um, but yeah, let's do it. 
Eyes are kind of done. I haven't put on mascara yet, but we'll do that after. I am going to go in on the rest of the face. Let's make this masterpiece come together. I am going in with the Gerard Cosmetics BB Illumination in Sophia. This is like a goldy shade. I really wanted to make this a very dewy, luminous, kind of like a goddess glow within boom 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 kind of look so <laughs> that's why we're going with this one i'm just gonna use my hands because uh it's 2021 and we yolo this stuff okay <laughs> so i'm just gonna start rubbing it in just like a cream and i kind of like doing it with my hands anyway i feel like it just distributes so much better um obviously i don't put this directly under my eyes because I don't really want shiny bags. I mean, Dark Circle was like, I'm good with that. Okay, we're done, guys. Thanks for watching. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. Going in with MAC Pro Longwear. Oh, no. This is a MAC Studio Fix. Where did I get that from? This is in NC40 because my face is super white compared to my neck and body. I never tan my face and I wear SPF every single day as you should. Just using my Real Techniques brush. Now, when I did the live on Gerard, I used way too much foundation. And we don't really need a lot. Even if, if you've seen my video on textured skin, when I did Tina's makeup, she had textured skin and I didn't even use a lot of foundation. Um, I don't think it's necessary. You can get cakey real quick. And it just intensifies everything. So I honestly think less is more. It's just how you pile it and how you do it, right? right dabbing as opposed to just because we want to make sure that we're doing it right i'm going in with my new favorite concealer <laughs> and i'm just going to put some there some there even though i have a lot of dark circles i don't like to put a lot of concealer under them just using this morphe brush don't know what it's called and as you can see, we are dabbing. I'm just gonna fast forward through this because I'm sure you've seen me dab a thousand million times. Now I'm going in with the Ben Nay Translucent Powder in Fair. I personally really like this. I just take a little bit and just dab that right under my eyes. And then whatever's left over, I kind of just go around my nose. I do get quite oily around there and my forehead. I'm going in now with this Illa Mascua. I'm like literally like it's finished, but I still use it because hello, it's got a little bit in it. <laughs> this is the powder, um, a fa powder foundation in PF20 or PF200, sorry. And I'm just putting that under my eyes. I just personally like the way it looks in photos as well as in real life. I don't put it directly up at the top. I just kind of like go where those darkness, beautiful dark circles are, go around my nose. I just personally love putting like a little powder foundation on the areas that I am more textured. Um, so just like this whole area. <laughs> then I just put a little bit on my forehead and on my chin. Remember the eyeshadow that we used? the mascara blush going back in with that on a blush brush this is a sigma i love sigma brushes i need to get more i feel like what do you guys think do you reckon sigma is better than morphe i would love your opinion i'm getting this sigma brush and i'm just gonna start dabbing that right along here and i'm actually bringing it high up just there Don't be scared to go crazy with this. Um, blush is the first thing that does go in your makeup. So yeah, I put it on my nose. Know this trick. I did it in my last few videos. You get your foundation brush and we are blending it all together. I literally say this every time I blend, but you know the blended family, that movie, the blended family. Oh, I love that movie with Adam Sandler and um drew barrymore i hope i said her name right she's amazing and it's such a great movie i really highly recommend you guys watch it i'm putting the lightest amount of bronzer just to give my face a little bit more of a bronzer a bit of the bronze look 
because it's too blushy um, actually it's never too blushy but I just did this with the look so <laughs> this is the NYX deep tan bronzage bronzer and I really do like this I'm using the same brush that I used for my blush brush I'm taking the slightest amount and I'm just like kind of wiping that just it very very subtle but do you see how it kind of gave a bit more definition again with your foundation brush and you want to just blend her all in don't forget your jaw and your cute little nose because I like to use one brush for my whole face I'm gonna still use my Sigma brush <laughs> I'm really funny and we're going in with these two highlighter palettes this is Marilyn and Grace from the Starstruck palette just going in this is like my favorite trick to get a glowy sexy look I kind of start from here and then I just bring it up and I just keep going until I'm happy with the pigment pretty happy with that guessed it you're right and I'm proud of you but if you didn't guess it then I'm quite upset because I've been saying this the whole video going back in my foundation brush to blend it all in so I'm going in with this BYS lash dimensions that took me a minute and a second and a half to say um, waterproof mascara oh my god that's why it was so hard to come off so I'm gonna be using two shades this is the NYX liquid suede what shade kitten heels kitten heels so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna put a lip liner because by the way this was so fun to take off Oh, no, 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 no. You can totally leave it like this. Um, I think this is a beautiful color, but I mixed mine. So we're going to mix it with the Glitter Flip. I don't know what brand this is um, because it rubbed off, but it's in Scandal. So I'm just going to go over it. Ah. I feel like I eat makeup every single time I'm filming. Just saying. Alright fam, this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's look. This is for all my single ladies, woo -woo. <laughs> people in relationships, anyone that wants to feel themselves any day, but especially on Valentine's Day. I mean, really you can wear red whenever you want, but I'm just saying that you are allowed to always spoil yourself every single occasion. Even if there's no occasion, you make your own occasion because you're a queen. And if you don't know that now, you know that. Then this is a look for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you recreate it. Make sure to tag me. I'll put my Instagram handle right here. And yeah, if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't checked out my latest video, like I said about my eyeliner, I literally just posted that on Monday. So make sure to check that out. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it like me. And I'll see you on my next video on Monday.